Hey you guys, um, I just wanted to share with you my day one of Tim's 12 Tags of Christmas. I'm going to try and follow along with him every day, but you know, some of them are going to be a little challenging because I have vowed that I will not buy anything to do these tags. So, um, I may not be able to get to all of them, but I'm going to do my best. So for the first day, um, this is my version of his tag, and for those of you who are not aware that Tim does 12 tags. Um, I will put a link to his tags down below in the description so that you can see what he created and compare to what I did. Now this particular day was a bit challenging because I had probably only, well I know, I only had about three things that he used in the um, tag itself. So I had to really get creative and I think Tim really embraces the fact that he wants us to be creative and enjoy the process and not get so caught up in bye 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 bye. So um, you know there are a few things that he's going to use that I consider essential that I'd really like to have that I'll probably add to a wish list but uh, for the most part I'm going to say that I'm going to run with whatever I have and I think he embraces that so he encourages it. So for this tag, to give you a walkthrough from the base up, um, I happen to have the seam binding and I happen to have his inks already from his winter collection. So I was able to do the seam binding like he did. And I had his baubles, so I was able to hang the little baubles here. Uh, I, you know, I was glad I had those. I've had them in the hoard vault for a while. He used the coordination stack for the paper base and for all the papers on the tag. I don't have the coordination stack that he used. Um, I, I think that's going to be one of the things that gets added to my list of things to have because the coordination stack, definitely when I go back and look at mine versus his, it offers a little bit of depth that you don't get from just regular cardstock. So the coordination stack is going on the wish list. Um, I also did not have the snowflake uh, embossing folder that he used, but I improvised by... I used this cuddle bug folder and I like the fact that it had the swirls and things like that on it but I wasn't super crazy about the flowers obviously because this is not a spring tag it's a winter tag and I happen to have Tim's snowflakes so what I did was everywhere there was a flower I covered it with a snowflake so I'm gonna zoom in for just a second pardon the camera shake so you can get a better look at the close-up details um, okay, for those of you who closed your eyes while I moved the camera, it's safe to open them back up again. So, um, I took my snowflakes and cut them out of the same paper that I used on the base, and I embossed them with a holographic glitter, which, I mean, not holo glitter, it's embossing powder, and I also had covered the top of the snowflakes with the white dauber paint, and I don't know if that was a reaction to the dauber paint or what, but the holographic feature of the embossing powder did not translate on the snowflakes. And again, it could just be a reaction with the um, dauber paint. I don't know. But I'm okay with how they look. It, the embossing did add a little bit of a texture. Now Tim embossed his tag yesterday um, in the in the background areas of the tag. I couldn't. I didn't do that because I wasn't using the same embossing folder, and I didn't want to call attention to the fact that I wasn't using the same embossing folder. So um, that's another difference that's on this tag. Uh, moving down, uh, the Noel. I did not have the Noel die cut. So what I decided to do was I have a gypsy and um, I used the black letter cartridge. The black letter had this flourish on it. So I started with it and I cut it at four inches wide and then I um, just um, welded on the capital N, the lowercase o-e-l. And I will have that gypsy file available on my blog for you guys to download for free. Um, I, I, I can't do it in other systems. All I can do it in is the Gypsy. So if you want it, I'll put it there. Um, please feel free to use it. That's fine with me. Uh, I do not do glitter. I don't like glitter. I don't like the look of glitter. I don't like anything about it. So what I did instead was 
I had some silver embossing powder and I cut I cut the Noel out on really thin chipboard and then I embossed it with the silver and then I do have uh, the glamour dust which is a very fine fine clear glitter and I painted the top of the Noel with the uh, glue and seal from Claudine Helmuth and, or Ranger and then I put that really fine white powder glitter all over the Noel and I patted it down really really good and then knocked it off so I have a lot of glittery effect to this Noel but again like I said I'm not a huge fan of glitter so I like the look of this because it does kind of offer that reflective tone that we were looking for and I like the fact that the silver is under it so should that glitter fall off um, I still have a silvery tone to this tag so moving on down the tag, uh, I did not have the banner uh, die cut that he uses, so I and I didn't have the paper that he used for the banner. But what I did was I went to my scrap pile and I found a strip of music paper. So I just distressed the edges of it, and I mine is a little bit thicker than his, but I'm okay with that because um, I really kind of think it gives it more of that ribbon look by being a little bit thicker. And I tore the little divots that are here on the uh, banner. I just tore those off in, in a triangular kind of, I just fold the paper in half and then rip towards the center. And that made the little torn, tattered look that his die cut offers and I distressed the edges with this little distressing tool so they would be kind of tattered as well and then I painted over it with the walnut stain I happened to have the pine cone die I just got it last week I was so excited so I was able to do the little spruce sprigs and the pine cones I did not however have the holly holiday um, flourish die that he used yesterday it is new and it hasn't I haven't been able to get my hands on it yet and so I had to improvise a little bit I did have the holly branch so what I did was I just cut some of the holly branch out from the base or uh, and used it as my base for my spray and then um, I had the lamp post which has a, a smaller holly on it so I cut it from a, a different color green and placed it around the pine cones and of course he used the baubles again to do the berries for the holly so I used those so that is my rendition of Timmy's tag and I look forward to playing along every day. If you guys are playing along, please do a video response to just just video response this tag on this day and then if I do any of the others you can video response the others too but um, I really love to see what you guys create I hope you're enjoying this process along with me and I'd love to see what you make so please add it as a video response I know I'm babbling now so anyway thank you guys for watching uh, please leave me comments and I'll talk to you later